Pound for Pound Boxing Channel, it's your host, Frederick. Manny Pacquiao, Adrian Broner last night. Adrian Broner, he loses. It wasn't close. I had him winning two rounds. I believe it was the first round and maybe the fifth. I'm not sure which one, but he got two rounds out of 12 rounds. He didn't throw enough punches once again. Um, it, it was, it, it's orthodox against a southpaw, so you already know, you know, it's going to be a chess match in there. You got to watch your feet so they don't get tangled up. Um, Manny was doing a lot of reaching, um, working his jab. He was going to the body of Adrian Broner a lot, and sometimes Broner does give up the body so he can try to counter you over top, and that was, that was kind of like exactly what happened. Um, Adrian Broner just, he didn't let his hands go. He didn't go to Manny's body at all. I think he threw like two or three body punches in a 12-round span. He was countering Manny a little bit, but, I mean, he didn't really let his hands go like I thought he would. I just, these past, what, past four fights, it was like, okay, he's going to let his hands go. This is the one. Okay, yeah, I'm officially jumping off of the Adrian Broner bandwagon because I don't know what he's going to do, man. He can beat up, he'll beat up the little guys, he'll beat up the the C-listers, B-listers he's going to have a tough time with, and A-listers he's going to lose to. You know, I guess it's he'll have like a moral victory of just surviving for 12 rounds and not getting embarrassed. There was a point in the fight where uh, Manny Pacquiao caught Adrian Broner and hurt him. I'm talking he went, he went limp and was holding on for dear life. He had to hold for about four or five times until that bell rang. There were times, um... It was times in the fight where he kept on just looking at the clock. I don't know if he was getting tired or if he was just... I don't know what the fuck he was doing, man. Manny didn't look that good either. Manny's 40 years old. I believe in, in, anybody at the welterweight division beats Manny. Any any These young boys beat Manny. That's why I think he's picking his last two fights, you know. He's picking them very carefully, man, because Danny Garcia beats him. Thurman knocks him out. Spence knocks him out and destroys him. I think the best fight for Manny would would have been Mikey Garcia if Mikey Garcia didn't um didn't go fight Errol Spence. That wouldn't have been a very good fight. You know, um There's pretty much nothing else you could say about the fight, man. That was it. Post fight, Adrian Broner, of course he's gonna say some stupid shit. I feel like I won the fight, I beat that boy, like Everybody looking like no you didn't, bro. I don't know who uh, this is what I think Mayweather's uh, Mayweather Senior was tr probably trying to tell Adrian Broner at the beginning of his career. You need to change your camp, change your uh, your trainers and all that stuff because they lying to you, bro. I don't know every at the end of every round they should have been telling him, bro, we lost that one. You are losing this one. Let your fucking hands go. Do something. You're not going to the body. You're not doing nothing. You just you trying to jab and counter him over the top. You ain't went to the body to slow this boy down at all. He's old. He can't move around like he used to. And you're not putting no pressure on him. You didn't stop. You didn't cut off the ring. You didn't walk him down. No, none of that. It was okay. Let me react to what Manny's doing. Let me try to counter him. That's it. I'm not going to his body. I'm just trying to counter him whenever he comes in. I'm going to let him walk me down. I'm going to move around. I'm like, yeah, damn, bro. You did all this shit talking for no reason, bro. All these these all-access shits and talking all this shit, getting up there, going at it. Oh, y'all, you against me. Yeah, motherfucker, because you ain't showed nothing. If you would have showed something in your last two fights, letting your hands go like you told the people you were going to do, we wouldn't have to question you. But, hey, you didn't let your hands go again. I'm not even fucking surprised, man. I'm I'm mad because I put money on him. I'm mad. I'm like, this is the one. He's not going to fuck up this opportunity. This is Manny Pacquiao. He wins this. He's a worldwide name. Yep, he disappointed me. I'm not even surprised. And I'm more, I'm more upset with myself for even believing in this bullshit, man. Manny's old. He's not the same fighter like he used to be. They asked Floyd at the end of the fight, would you fight Manny again? Would you fight Manny again? Because, I mean, that's ultimately what Manny's fighting for is a rematch for Floyd. Floyd, Floyd didn't say yes. He didn't say no. He just sat there. It, I think it was like more like a I'm not impressed kind of stare. Because I wasn't impressed neither. I'm just like, this shit was whack. The fact that they charged $75 for that bullshit on pay-per-view, that was bullshit. That was bullshit. But anyway, that was, man, that was my post-fight, you know. I already, I told... I, I broke it down already, how to, how to beat Manny. Broke it down, how to beat Broner, man, in my past videos. But that fight last night was just doo-doo. 
Marcus Brown and and and, and was it uh, Jack was trash. Rasheed Warren he disappointed me. It was just a night of disappointments, man. Just trash. That shit could have been on fucking Showtime, bro. Regular Showtime. But that's neither here nor there. Whatever. Anyway, salute to everybody. Pound for Pound Boxing Channel. I'm your host, Frederick. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button, man. Adrian Broner is officially a gatekeeper at 147. 140, 147, whatever the fuck he wants to fight at. He's a gatekeeper. I think, what, he got like four or five losses now? Shit. Yeah, man. I don't think, I don't even think, I don't think he beats, he gonna beat Kale Brook. He gonna beat Amir Khan. He trash, bro. I don't want to hear nothing. He, he's not trash. I'm not going to say that because I don't want to disrespect, disrespect any fighter, but you're not what you say you are. That's all I'm saying, bro. Hit that like button. Hit, us, hit that subscribe button, man. Your host, Frederick. Pound for Pound Box Channel. I just woke up. It was a long night last night, so whatever. Y'all have a good day. Bye.